As John Hammond realized his vision for Jurassic Park, his competitors began to see the potential of InGen's work. One of their main rivals, Biosyn, looked to close the gap by stealing the advantages that InGen and Dr. Wu had worked so hard to gain. To do this, they would need someone on the inside. So they enlisted a disgruntled computer engineer named Dennis Nedry. A plan was devised to steal InGen's dinosaur embryos with an inconspicuous canister created to house the precious commodity. Nobody really knows what happened that fateful night. What is certain is that Dennis Nedry and the samples were never seen again. Biosyn had failed. Unfortunately, so too had Hammond's dream. Decades later, businessman Simon Mizrani tried again, this time succeeding in delivering Hammond's vision to the world. Tragically, things didn't go as planned. Biosyn was waiting for its time, and they found it in the aftermath of Jurassic World's downfall. Now, led by Lewis Dodgson, a new era was dawning. While we don't know what the future holds, History has a habit of repeating itself. Just look at it. It's beautiful. We are so close to realizing Biosyn's dream, one that InGen could never achieve. Once we get dinosaurs here, it will be perfect. A perfect display of evolution. Luck favors the bold. We were prepared. Now we need to finish the job. Give me the latest on the animals. We're isolated, which makes for a challenging landscape. We are still at a disadvantage until we understand more about this ecosystem and how our new friends will adapt to it. We need more information and time. The last thing we want is for them to not adapt and die. Oh, they'll adapt. I believe that. They adapted to two parks and a few islands. They're adapting now. They'll be just fine. Just get them here. I'm not sure we are totally ready to understand everything we need to. Just get them here. Leave the rest up to Mother Nature and me. <laughs>